as the last seven to 10 days of events have unfolded in our country. Much like you, it took me some time to process my thoughts and emotions. I reached out to several people in our community just to work through all of that myself. I talked to my pastor, to our coworkers, our UK family, my family, and student athletes. Over that period of time and over the weekend, I spent a lot of time thinking and finally got to a spot on Monday where I felt comfortable putting a pen to paper to create some thoughts and emotions of my own. What follows is a compilation of those thoughts. I spent about seven hours on Monday just writing down what I felt was important. I'm thanking you for your patience as I work through these very important events, thoughts, and emotions on my own time. One of the greatest moments in sports is the walk from the locker room to the contest. The anticipation of competing with a teammate whom you've journeyed with, locking arms and hearts, regardless of boundaries, for a common goal. It inspires, it uplifts, gives hope, and educates, prepares us for life. We are thankful we have the opportunity to educate, train, and compete with over 500 student athletes who represent a diversity of gender, race, religion, and nationality that extends beyond the boundaries of our country to a global reach. Over 250 families work in our department to ensure a connection of hearts that align to our principles. One, character, purity of the heart. Two, integrity, follow the rules and boundaries, decisions of the mind. Three, educate, continual learning in all aspects of life. Four, stewardship, be good stewards of our gifts. Be givers, not takers. Five, compete, compete for the hearts of people, individuals, teammates, co-workers, and our community. I'm not sure any team could have prepared for what has occurred the last three months, specifically the last couple of weeks in our country. The senseless tragedy in the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery has brought pain, confusion, hurt, anger, and many other emotions which are undeniable and understandable. It is through our principles we must find a different path as we navigate some really, really difficult waters. Our family, student athletes, coaches, staff, and fans are hurting on many fronts. Empathy for those emotions and wounds is necessary and needed for any healing and change to occur. I've been in college athletics for 38 years, and I believe in the unique power of sports to unite people. I also believe in the beautiful hearts and intentions and influence of people. I believe in the greater good of people. I refuse to accept betrayals of that greater good. Four-letter words have wrought our society. Pain, hate, fear, and it only gets worse. It has long since been the time to change the narrative to a different set of four-letter words. Kind, give, care, hope, and love. These are framed by five-letter words of peace, faith, grace, and truth. We aspire to choose peace over panic, faith over fear. The truth will offend us at times, and it should. But the truth plus grace equals love. We have to live out a message of love to our neighbors to live in peace. Social media is pretty good at well said. It's not necessarily good at well done. We will work with our UK family to influence them to love each other and get to know each other one person at a time. To throw a pebble in the pond and watch the ripples of influence as we go from a locker room to department, from department to campus, to a community, to the BBN and beyond our borders. We have influence and I have faith it is for a greater good. 
Martin Luther King Jr. said, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. As is repeated at many weddings from 1 Corinthians. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us toward that consummation. Trust steadily in God. Hope unswervingly. Love extravagantly. And the best of the three is love. I have faith in a loving God in the greater good of men and women to find empathy with each other's journey and walk the staircase in the spirit of love together. In the end, as it was said, in the end, people won't remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. We will walk the staircase together.